Hi everyone, I'm John Carver from North Four Mushrooms. I'm one of the co-founders and the head mycologist with the company. And today I'm gonna to show you uh, one of our products, which is a mushroom grow kit. So this kit contains everything you need to start growing mushrooms outdoors, on logs, on your property, except for the log itself. I'll go into details about kind of how to use this kit, what's included and the different pieces of it. But first we probably wanna talk about actually sourcing a log. So what we have here is a about four foot long oak log. Now, if you're growing shiitake, oak is the species you wanna look for, though you can also use other hardwoods. Maple is a particularly good one for shiitake. And then if you're doing other species of mushrooms, you're gonna look for potentially different hardwoods. So we have all that information on our website and it's all included in that kit as well. The details of what species you can use with what tree species. What you're looking for is a three to four foot log that should be four to six inches in diameter. And this needs to be fresh cut wood. So you need to cut a tree and inoculate that tree within three to four weeks from the time you cut it. Generally, the most traditional time to do this is early spring. Um, we're middle of March right now, so we're doing this in a greenhouse, which is a good time to cut the wood. But you can also inoculate logs any time from about midsummer into late fall. If you do it during the summer months or the fall months, the techniques you're gonna use for storing the logs and then incubating them is gonna be a little bit different. But right now we're kind of in mid-March and we're gonna show you how to do it at this time of year. So once you've gotten your kit, it's kind of got a picture of the species on the front and then of sort of general instructions of how to go about the process. But all of the details are inside along with all of the pieces that you're gonna need. So we'll open this up and see what we've got here. So the kit comes with wax that we're gonna be using to seal the holes on the log. It also comes either with spawn. So this is plug spawn that can inoculate about one to two logs, but your kit may come with this card instead of spawn. And what this is, is this is a voucher card and this just allows you to go online type in this code into our website, and then we ship you the spawn. And this is really helpful if you're planning on giving these kits as a gift, or if you've bought this in a retail store, a lot of times they'll be packaged this way. And this just ensures that we get the freshest spawn to you at the time when you need it for your project. So if you get this kit and you expect you might be waiting a few months or you don't get around to it for a year, having this voucher really helps because it will never go bad. Either way though, ultimately, you'll get one of these bags of plugs, which contains 100 plugs. In addition to that, we've got our complete instructions that details everything you need to know to do this process. Obviously, we'll be covering this in the video, but this has a little bit more detail about specific strains of mushrooms and tree species that you may wanna use, depending on which kit you've purchased. In addition to that, we have a wax dauber, which helps applying the wax later on in the process. And we have a 5 16th drill bit. And this is the size of drill bit you need in order to use the plugs that we've provided. Once you got your kit and you've opened it up, checked out all the different pieces, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually get your wax melting. And that's because this can often take a little bit of time and we're gonna need this later on in the log inoculation process. The piece of equipment we found that's most useful for this is a crock pot. So you can easily find crock pots, especially of this vintage at a Goodwill or a, a thrift store. And this just helps keep the wax at a temperature where it's melted, but not so hot that you risk catching it on fire or anything like that. We've got some wax in there, but basically this comes granulated. All you would need to do is just open this up, pour it in your crock pot, get it heated up, and then we'll use that later on in the process. The first stage, I guess, in this whole log inoculation process is actually drilling holes in the logs. And we've provided this 5 16 drill bit to drill those holes. In order to use this bit, what I recommend is take out one of your plugs and then use that plug to just measure the distance that you're gonna wanna drill into the log. And so the best way to do this is to lay that plug next to your drill bit, take a little bit of tape and create a mark that will make sure that you're going to the right depth. All right, so now I've got my flagged drill bit, and this helps me make sure that I'm drilling to the depth where the whole plug will go in the log and none of it is sticking out. 
When making your holes, you want them to be about four to six inches apart, and you're gonna put them in a row along the whole length of the log, and then we're gonna create another row that's staggered relative to that first one. So I'll demonstrate that now. So now I've got um, one row drilled here. And what you're gonna do once you have that first row drilled is just take the log and turn it a little bit. And then you're gonna create another row that's staggered off of that first row. And you want that distance between the two rows to be about you know two to three inches. It doesn't need to be precise. So once you've drilled the entire circumference of your log, now you're ready to start inoculating that log with mushroom spawn. With this bag of plugs, it contains about 100 plugs, which is enough to do one to two logs. You'll just take and put one plug in each hole. So initially you can just kind of set these up in each hole. And then once you've got all your plugs situated, you can just go around and hammer those plugs in. And you want it ultimately for the plug to be flush with the bark. You don't want the plug too far into the wood or sticking out at all. And you'll just do that for every hole that you've already drilled. Now that you've put plugs in all the holes around the circumference of your log, you now need to seal the outside of those holes with wax. So we've already been getting the wax melted in this crock pot here, and now we're just gonna use this wax applicator to get the wax onto each hole. So it's pretty simple. Just get this dauber covered in wax, and then that goes over each hole. The daubers are nice because they allow you to use just the amount of wax that you need. So if you're doing lots of logs, this helps your wax go a little bit further. And once you have all of the holes sealed with wax, one thing that is often useful to do is to seal the ends of the logs with wax. Now, if you live in a particularly damp climate, this isn't necessary in that you generally have enough moisture in the log to keep things from drying out. But if you live in a dry climate, sealing the ends of the logs with wax can be really helpful. It's also nice because often when you seal the ends with wax, then the mycelium will grow all the way to the end of the log and you'll actually be able to look at that wax and see that the log is colonizing. So that can be helpful just regardless of the climate you're in, but especially do this if you're in a dry climate. The easiest way is to just lift up this log and then dip each end in the wax. You can also paint it on with a paintbrush, that's another option, but this is a little easier. And there we go. Now our log is completely sealed and ready to bring out into the shiitake log yard.